Snuff. And once again, I'm looking at one of Snuff's very good albums because they really do have lots of very good albums. Snuff. In fact, thinking about it now, do you remember that album that Snuff brought out that wasn't a very good album? Didn't happen. Snuff has been one of the most uh, continuously amazing bands over the years. Snuff has brought to me Snuff. and to many others, to hundreds of thousands of others, beautiful ear music which really does make a change in our innocent and dirty lives. So let's now take a look at their album from about 25 years ago or more. Demma Massa Bebonk by the band Snuff as what I explained then. Snuff! So here on the front cover, uh, let's not be put off or disturbed, but there's a remarkable shark on the front and below a speeding bike to of course show the dangers of the deep and the dangers of the open road. And here a clock showing the dangers of being late for work. It really is a remarkable alb cover which highlights dangers in general. And now having finished with the obverse, I'm going to move to the reverse here which has the four shark design and um, unlike the old fat records one which had the five shark design how strange isn't that interesting it has a different design on the cover so here we have the four shark design and um, just some scrawlings and here we have the lineup of the album 10 past 12 records and the song lineup here which lets you know which songs are on the record Snuff. and which you should expect Snuff. when you play Snuff. the music for your ears it's all enjoyable stuff and all there for you to enjoy Snuff. from a to b and from g to d that's the name of a song from g to d <laughs> <laughs> it's a funny band in joke for the album. Let's take a sniff of the album. See what it shows us. Or well, mostly me, because I'm the one who's experiencing these smells. I'm taking them on for you. The smells might be good, the scents might be bad. But I'm doing it for you. I'm taking one for the team. And I'm going to give it a little bit of a sniff to see what my heart's desire Anna wants. Oh, barrels of teak. Oh, loads and loads of exclamation marks. Of course, pinpointing the amount of excitement within. Snuff. Nothing else. There's no sense here. Beyond what I've explained. Let's take a look inside. No insert. No insert needed, because all the info's on the back here. No kin information needed. Let's take a look at the stinking metal. It lies inside a nice, nicely sturdy white inner sleeve. Oh, look at this. It's a kind of clear yellow, clear yellow, which is the uh, 10 past 12 yellow, because the Fat Records version also comes on a clear yellow, which is a different kind of clear yellow, a bit more cloudy if you wanted to tell them apart. Although, um, this record is of higher quality. Um, so here we have Snuff, Demosma, B, Bonk, Side B. Um, we've got uh, seven tracks and seven tracks on the other side. Daddy equals 16 tracks. Snuff! No, that equals 14 tracks. Snuff! Yes, that was it. And here we have ever such a smiley face. A handsome face, isn't it? Handsome. So let's take a listen to it to see if the music included is handsome too. It is. Let's have a listen to it. To see if it's handsome, like I just said just now. 
did his handsome too. See, that's what I said. What a treat, what a lovely treat. And now moving on to side B. Oh, this one has a bit of a tough swivel. Oh, I haven't had this for a while, but this one's the swivel out of five. It's about a three. It's a bit difficult to spin around betwixt your fingers, betwixt your greasy fingers. And having greasy Not fingers, you might think, would be a bit of a, um, a positive thing when swiveling a record. But today, it's really not working out for me because I typically do have extremely greasy fingers when I'm handling records. That's how I can uh, slip them about so fast. And I recommend to you that you rub a bunch of grease or oil all over your hands before you handle records. But now I'm gonna move on to side B to see if it's amenable, accommodating, and a little touch of objet d'art. What an album. What negatives could a fellow like me discern from an album as perfect as this? I have two negatives about this album. The first is that it's not Snuff's best album. That is reserved for Tweet Tweet My Lovely, which followed. But as far as most people are concerned, this is their favourite album, and that's completely up to them. I would mark this as Snuff's second best album, or nearly first best album. And the big problem I have with this album is that around this time they recorded the song Walk, which is added onto an extra EP and not actually on this album. Walk would have elevated this album. It's such a good flipping song. I love me that song. That means I like it. I love me this song a lot. Um, yeah. So it doesn't have Walk, which is a little bit of a shame. But it did make it into the EP, so it wasn't a lost song. Um, so should you go out and get this? Just go out and get it. Should you listen to it first? No. Don't even listen to it first. Just go and get it. If it's not in your collection, you suck a little bit. Yeah, like if you don't have uh, the first Ramones album, if you don't have, uh, well, there's a few different things you should probably have in your collection. If you if you look on the internet, they'll probably tell you that you should have a Dire Straits album, you should have a Who album, you should have a Pet Shop Boys album, you should have a Coldplay album, you should have a Nickelback album, just all this boring stuff. But if you ask me one thing you should have in your collection is a snuff album and this snuff album would take pride of place amongst your other records for what you can enjoy and have so in conclusion in conclusion this was released in the 90s on fat records and then it was released I think, uh, was it like as a 20 year or 25 year anniversary edition on 10 past 12 records, which I think is still maybe still available. Go and get it, it comes on a lovely yellow record. Uh, get it. Very good album. And you're probably sitting there wondering, what on earth is this very good Julebard filler? What on earth is he going to rank this album out of like... Uh, um, an amount and I'd be like uh, I would give it uh, 25 I would rank this 25 out of many the many might be 20 the many might be 100 the many might be 17 I don't know how many the many is but I give this 25 out Snuff. of many so I hope that gives you 
a definite impression as to how good it is. So I'll see you next week. Don't forget to check back for when I might have a further video of two. And um, if you do care to go swimming and you don't have the necessary swimming costume about your bottom, you could simply wrap some seaweed amongst your bits and all over your bottom to keep it dry and hidden from the pervy bathers. Okay, good night and don't sleep tight unless you do. so much for watching my very good video. Don't forget to subscribe to the very good channel and come back next week for another very good video. Snuff a video to watch. Now, it's a good video. <laughs> Snuff.